sooner or later, a uh, pipe welder is going to get asked to do a rolling offset where something is a piece of pipe is coming along and it is, it's got a change in elevation and it's got to change left and right also. So instead of just going straight up, it might be rolled to the left or right and it may not be 45 degrees. It may be some funky angle and you've got a certain distance on height elevation change and you've got a certain distance less left and right and you've got to go a certain distance. So these might be cut down to some strange angle. So how do you figure out what this pup length is? How do you cut that without making a mistake and have to do it twice and look look bad to the boss. I'll show you how to, I would do it um, a couple different ways. I'm gonna show you two different ways. So you can double check. Um, that was a good idea, double check. So let's say our pipe is running along and we've gotta go this distance and we gotta go this much higher and this much over. So think inside the box. So look at this yellow string line I pulled in here. We need to know for our rolling offset, from center to center, that's going to determine how we figure out what our pup length is going to get cut to minus our takeoffs from our elbows. So we can figure out this length is easy. We know that this is just straight. It's eight. Simple. So this leg right here on this triangle, we've got to figure out this, this length right here on this yellow string line triangle. So how do we figure that? So if we know that this right here, this little triangle, if this is six inches wide and it's four inches tall, we can do the a squared plus b squared equals c squared formula. So we go four squared plus six squared is gonna be 16 plus 36 equals 52. So take the square root of 52, 7.211. So we know that this leg right here is 7.211. So now we know this length is 7.211. We know this is eight. So we can do it again to figure out what this length is. So we're gonna take our 7.211, square it. We're gonna take 8, square it, and then take the square root, we got 10.770. So now we know that this line right here, this is our rolling offset length, is from center to center 10.770. So now, this is not 45 degrees, this is some goofy angle. So how do we figure out what this angle is? How do we figure out how to cut our elbows down to the right angle? So trig function, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we don't need to know what this angle is. So the opposite leg, 7.211 over 8. Now you have to put on a pipe trade calculator, you're going to go, let's say, 7.211.211, divide 8 equals, you got to go inverse, or convert tangent, 42 degrees. So now we know what our elbows are going to be cut down to. So that's one way to do it. Um, simple way to do it another way to do it is just with this this pipe trades calculator so there's apps and stuff you can get this but what i like about this is it comes with this book and it's got everything in there like if you know the angle and it tells you exactly what button to push and shows you examples so if you know the bend angle or you you, you do don't know the bend angle it, it gives you walks you through step by step the other thing is yeah, maybe you can get an app on your phone, but usually that's when the boss rolls up and what's he going to think? Your, your contractor that you're working for, if it looks like you're playing on your phone or it looks like you're getting work done. It's just a, something to think about, you know, um, who they're going to keep, the guy getting stuff done or the guy on his phone. So I prefer this, uh, a little more professional and just having this to double check. But you can do it this way. Super simple. It just walks you through everything. And then you can do it this way, and this gives you a little better understanding. And I would do it both ways, double check, so that when you cut this length, it's right and it goes in the first time and you're not finding yourself with a mistake and having to cut it apart or redo it, and that looks really bad. So hopefully that helps you uh, succeed and uh, do a little quicker job of figuring things out and not have to scratch your head. Um, so I'm Darren with Off the Hook Design and Fab. I hope that helps. Have a great day.